Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rainy. This is the Enchanted Planner. All right, today we're applying for the first week in April in my vertical. I'm gonna get over there. Hold on. This one. Now, I was stuck, and when I'm stuck, I usually hit YouTube for some ideas, and I found a really pretty spread by Ramika, which is Booby Plans Her Life. I will link her down in the description and tag her so you can check out her channel if you would like but i love this spread so we're gonna we're gonna pretty much copy it because i'm i don't know i'm just in a place where i don't have a ton of ideas and how we are doing this is i've got some boxes that i printed because i didn't have any of the right color shapes and i've pulled out the new spring allure now i haven't used this book yet i only just recently got it we're going to pull in these guys and I want to combine them with some of the elements like the purples in here will match really well so that's my thoughts let's see if it works all right so first things first what do we need to do we need to do this let's remove that so I don't lose it because I haven't filled in my monthly yet with all of that stuff ah it is Wednesday today so you guys will see this tomorrow, I guess. Wow, I can't believe it's almost the long weekend. Happy Easter to you all. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, man. I don't know where the time is going. It's just, it's crazy to me how fast this year has just like poof. There are some nice big pieces in here. I want that one. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna need some wax paper. That's old wax paper. Oh, there's new wax paper. It's like, I literally just pulled out a sheet yesterday. I'm like, it can't be far. All right, the first thing I wanna do is get under here and lift up this backing because they get in my way and they make it difficult to get the stickers up sometimes. So we're just going to eliminate that problem. Oh, I went actually through the sticker paper. That's unusual. Oh, actually almost pulled up someone else. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do the same with this one. I think it will be easier this way if I pull up in the corner here. There we go. Come back to me. Come back to me. So what's new in planner land? Not much here because, you know, I literally filled you in on my life yesterday. <laughs> So bye bye. So I want this piece for sure, and I want um, this piece. These are like super. Oh, what happened there? I see. Okay, I was like, what happened to it? But it cut off a bit. But it's all right. I want that one, and. What else have we got to work with? Oh, did I pull the page from the wrong one? I did, but you know, whatever. Life, life goes on. I think we'll start there. So now with this spread that she did, um, there are like, she's used shapes, which I don't normally use, which I think is why I found this super appealing as a spread, because I don't normally use any shapes. And then of course I've got to grab some quotes from somewhere I've got um the black quotes book from live love not live love posh um amber so we'll probably pull that in okay first things first oh my gosh everything is super 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 sticky it's raining here it's been raining for a couple of days which is kind of a bummer because I was like super excited about all the really pretty weather that we were having <laughs> but alas spring has taken a hiatus for a bit but then you know we tend to get a fair amount of rain in the spring it's just the last couple of years we've been super spoiled because we haven't had a ton of rain in the spring so you know we can't really complain too much I'm thinking about this one up in this corner it's not that big though so maybe something else is that the only place there's corner pieces and such well not the only place but we might be further ahead to grab this one. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get off of here because it's right at the right at the thing. That might be a bit bigger. Yeah, that works. 
and then I can still see the month of April through it as well. Now, what do we need? I need to get rid of the note thing here. Um, Di and I were talking about, um, cause I think, was it last month? Hold on. This one, I think I have some spring quotes back in here. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, is it last month? I think was like doodles and stuff in the planner challenge that her and I run. <laughs> um, and ironically, I said to her, I said, I can't do just a pen spread. The whole reason that I have stuck with planning, like Happy Planner, as long as I have, is because we get to decorate it with stickers and whatnot. Because I've never, ever, ever managed to last in a planner much past about the third week in January if I'm literally just using pen. Anyone else kind of have that issue before you found decorative planning? Because I know I certainly did. I would buy a planner every single year and not really use it. Okay, I also pulled out my diary washi. Now, if I remember correctly, this is no longer on the website for, um, oh my gosh, washi tape shop. I will take a look if it's still there. Um, for sure. I'll find a link for it for you guys. It is probably one of my favorite washies. I don't use it like a ton, but it is fun. Okay, so I'm like not the greatest at ripping washi. <laughs> but I'm kind of looking for a bit of a shape. There we go. Well, that's not very good. Let's try ripping that a little bit more. I can't really rip all that well for some, like, you know, Desiree, she's like the queen when it comes to ripping washi. She's got like such a bang up technique. It's like a jelly, jelly. But then I think too, as the washi ages, it gets a little bit more difficult to use, which is a bit problematic, especially for those of us that you're not using, like I have a lot of washi and I'm not using it every single time I pull out a spread. So there is that. Oh, I crinkled my washi. Getting laying down flat. It's not the best rip, but we're just gonna go with it. All right, so let's get a ruler and an exacto knife, or even my washi card would work too. I just need something that's got a straight edge. The the edge of the washi card works really well because it's metal, and I don't get cut the ruler because, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I tend to be a little heavy handed with the X-Acto knife. So sometimes I skip and hit the ruler and it's just no bueno. Okay, now she has a nice big circle up in this top corner here. So I think we're gonna go with, let's go with the yellow. And we're gonna de-stick this a bit she doesn't put like it's a cutoff circle which is pretty wild I kind of like the idea so maybe about here give me some tweezes give me some tweezes so I can see where I gotta cut you off all right let's get the ruler again and we're gonna try this hopefully my sticker doesn't stick down this is the one thing I will say about the sticker paper that you get from online labels. It is like some super sticky stuff. Oh, look at that. I didn't go deep enough. <laughs> Me talking about being heavy handed and I'm like, went a little light on that one. Oh, come on. What is up with this? Like seriously? Like that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so got that. I'm pretty excited about this spread actually. Pretty excited if I do say so myself. So we're gonna take this piece. And I know um, a few of you guys have asked me like, what do I do when I don't have a ton of inspiration for something? And for me, I mean, florals are always easy, but even like today is the day, I think it's partly the weather. Like I just don't have any creative mojo. So 
I hit YouTube or I will hit Instagram to find ideas. And when I put in the search criteria, her layout was one of the first ones that came up and I'm like, ooh, that's kind of perfect. I kind of like that. So that is what we need. Where did my sticker go, Creek Ed? I don't want you, Creek Ed. I want you straight. All right, we got to do a tiny bit up the top, but. All right, fabulous. I'll get out the sticker squisher in a while. Now, the one thing that's kind of great, I don't like the look of the thing, this, but I don't really want to have to waste a ton of time, like waste a ton of time for you guys having you watch me fiddle with pen either. And sometimes I'll just put the stickers down and then just lift them up after I finish filming, which sometimes works really well. But other times, I don't know, I just, I always value your time. <laughs> like yesterday's, um, well, yesterday for you, but no yesterday for me too, because I filmed it yesterday. I'm a little confused today. Um, when I put that monthly together, that came together relatively quickly. I was pretty shocked actually, because sometimes I really struggle with the monthly. All right, so we're gonna pull out the white pen because I actually don't like the, oops, that's my funky white pen that likes to come apart. Diane and I were talking about this and it's funny. She's like, well, I've never had any problems. I'm like, actually, I've never had any problems ordering the Uniball Signos either. I think I just have a weird batch. <laughs> so, I mean, I've got another, I think one of them in the drawer I can pull out. And I mean, it's not they cost, they don't really cost like a ton of money. It's money, mind you, don't get me wrong. See, this little bugger does not want to work. And where I do put down pen, it's kind of lifting up pen. All right, well, whoop, let's just throw things around today. <laughs> That's the theme of the day. Let's just throw things around which is why I went to this, because I don't want to fiddle around too much. So I think I'm just going to have to order some new ones and call it what it is. I mean, really, do does it really matter if there's lines through my florals? Probably not. It's not going to prevent me from using my planner, but I do like a cleaner look. So there's that. Okay, so we've got that down. I need a big floral piece for over here over there which we have several so oh I could have actually taken that one and done that I might switch those out or maybe not now we'll take I think this one and we're just gonna place it down in that corner I don't know how it's gonna work though it's the wrong direction but we're gonna try it anyways yeah it would have to go this way so that won't work it would have worked really well up there though so we might switch those out that one might work. What else do we have? Got that one. <clears throat> kind of want a bigger one. Um, you're in the wrong direction, I think. Because if I put you that way, you're not big enough. <clears throat> Neither are you, technically. Neither are you, technically. <clears throat> They're such pretty florals. I get so excited about florals. <laughs> I know it's pretty sad, but I get pretty excited about florals. <clears throat> Excuse me having issues with uh, my throat this morning for some stupid reason. This sticker book is actually one I would probably like to order a second copy of. I don't think this one will work because again it's going to be the wrong direction. So I think we have to lift this guy up and I know that is really frustrating for you guys so just hold on. It's just I didn't really think about the placement. Oh, it's going to be the same. Well, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, we're just going to, we're just going to do that. No, okay, hold on. If we're adapting here, um, you know what? We're going to leave it. I'm going to go, I'm going to leave it. And I know you're probably just shaking your head at me, but hold on. I'll tell you where my thoughts are going. Because we're going to take this one. And we're going to put it like this. Hang on, let me get some sticky off of that. Okay, and then let's get some of this out of there. 
cannot wait till I order new pens. <laughs> is what it is. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece right here and we're going to add it to it, I think is our plan. Because that will bring it out a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be tons bigger, but it's a little bigger. Maybe, maybe I don't need it. Maybe I'm totally overreacting. Okay, so box wise, she's got a really neat combination of like a vertical box and then a large box, like a double box right there. So what do we need color wise? I didn't want to do that actually. Um, we need, I need to get under that flower, but we need, I've got purple box is my only option because it's the only one I made. So let's put that guy on there. And then we could bring in a yellow or we could bring in a pink. Let's bring in a pink. This is a yellow. Kick it out of there. I'm going to see about placement. So we're going to bring this in. Kind of like that, I think. I think she said in her subscription she used the florals from the Lux Winter Book. <laughs> and I have those, but I didn't actually even get a chance to use them very much, which was kind of a bummer, but you know, what is? We 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 survive. Okay, so I think we're gonna place this guy about there. And then I'm gonna take the pink one. Apparently I didn't make it quite tall enough, but that's all right. I don't really care when it comes to floating boxes so much. And we're going to bring this one like that. And then I'm going to lift up the flowers, I think. Do I want to lift up the flowers? Yeah, I'm going to lift up the flowers and bring them in front, I think. Do I like that? Do I like that? I don't know. We're going to not think about it for right now. Now we need another box that we're going to grab, or not a box, we need another circle. So she did the same thing down here with a nice big circle. Okay, it's super, super sticky. Now sometimes you think, oh, it's going to be super easy. I'm copying somebody else's spread. Not always. <laughs> not always does it come to, together in a nice, simple fashion. I'm going to go a little bit bigger on that. So let's do that. And then we're going to have the same issue with me trying to cut this. Hopefully I don't cut the page. I'm going to go deeper this time on the first run. So pray for me, people, because I don't want to cut the page. Okay, so... For those of you who are scrapbookers, to remember, I don't know what maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Back in the day, right, we used to get together for crop mates and stuff, which were a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, they were a ton of fun. I'll take some washi, put it up there. I miss doing things like that. And what's funny, because when I first found planning, it was immediately what I went to. I'm like, oh my gosh, we can get together for, you know, these fun crop mates. And so, well, not crop mates, but you know what I mean. Um, if I'm tearing it... I want it to be bigger on, I'm trying to decide if I want the thing to go. I wonder if I tried tearing it when it's actually on the page. Has anybody ever tried that? Might be an idea. See if we can get what we're looking for. So let's lay it down. And then that was totally not what I wanted. Put that over there. That did not work out at all how I envisioned. So maybe it's not a good idea. Well, you know what? You never know until you try. And don't worry, I don't waste this washi. It gets wrapped around my roll until I find another place to use it because yeah it's very difficult to come across oh my gosh this one doesn't want to rip at all um it's very hard to come across and I'm quite fond of this washi I'm just not very good at ripping okay well that's better 
So I'm going to bring it back here a bit. And then I'm going to see, you know what, I'm going to leave it because if I start macking about with it too much, I'm going to end up making a mess of my lumen washi and I don't really want to pull any more off the roll. But I was going to say like not waste it, but it's not really a waste because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inevitably use it at some point. It just, in particular, I don't want to use the washi if I don't have to. <laughs> okay. Call me cheap, call me thrifty, whatever you'd like. All right. So now we need um, a few boxes over here. Um, I have a yellow, so we don't have purple on this side yet. Let's grab a purple one. And let's see I have a yellow oops it's stuck to my washi I'll take this one now she has this big beautiful doll that I don't have <laughs> so we're improvising we're going to improvise people it's a lot of yellow on this page I wonder if I could find another pink box in my stash there might actually be some in the back of this book as well so let's throw that there for a second keep it away from the washi I think there are boxes in the back of this book there are it's going to be the wrong pink though I've got purples it's the wrong pink but you know what I can probably make it work to be honest because there is lighter pink in these florals and then I just bring in some lighter pink on that side so that's what we're gonna do Okay, so let's put this guy, I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay these two down or if I want to bring it down a bit further, maybe, question mark. Okay, we're gonna just gonna set it down very straight and we're not quite straight and I didn't de-stick the sticker. Okay, so let's get that guy down. Perfect. And then I think we're going to come in kind of like here. Maybe this guy's too big. I mean, granted, y'all know I love my square boxes. They are my favorite size. But apparently today it's not working. So we'll grab purple. And because I do have an appointment on Wednesday that I need a box for everything else I'm just kind of winging it but I do have an actual appointment on Wednesday and then we'll take a green one and this can go off to the bottom like so it's coming together it's taking a little bit of time a little bit longer than I would really rather but Hang on, we're just going to get this guy all laid down so it stops sticking to everything that I don't want it to stick to. Okay, let's get our scraps over there. And get that taken care of. So now we have all these beautiful florals. Let's go back into the book because what I was thinking was like in that other, other theme, this one here, there's like this girl. And I was like, well, I can probably make that work. It's kind of cute, right? It's just a matter of which way I want it facing. And I think that's the only two, right? That's the only two. Um, 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 Because um. I'm thinking like something like this, maybe? Question mark? It might not work, actually. She might be too tall. It might be a, I'm going to use that another day because I don't think it's going to work, which is kind of a bummer. All right, well, we'll just keep moving on because I have lots of other florals I can work with in that set. We have lots to work with. We are not short for florals. All right, so I do want to get a floral in over here somewhere. I think that's where we're going to have this side guy right here. So I'm going to worry about the lines later because I don't want to take up too much more time on like fiddly stuff. And um, we could take this. I still need a floral for up in that corner. We could bring this one in up here. Up here. It's not very... Oops. <laughs> it decided to jump onto the page. It's not very big though. And this one's like 
way too big. Although that's not bad, kind of, right? It's really not that bad. And it fills the space really well. I bent my page a bit, which is a bit frustrating. I'd have to lift up my, I mean, I could cut it too, just move it up a bit. Because again, it's not like we can't cut the stickers. I'm just <laughs> fussy that way. Oh, it took off a bit of my purple. So I really want the purple. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay this guy down like that. I'm gonna see if I can gently coax or coax my purple box to come up. Because I don't mind sometimes the florals overhanging the box, but oh my gosh, and I laid it down crooked. Okay, we're just gonna. I am making a mess. Horribly making a mess. Okay, so that should be straight. I'm gonna put that back down like that, and then I'm gonna find other stuff, right? Got this little guy. Now he's unfortunately he's a corner piece, so he's only gonna work in a few scant areas. Got lots of florals over there. I think we need some more over here. We could put this down here like that. Maybe. We also have this nice pretty little thing, kind of like that. Question mark. I'm not sure. Oops, I didn't stick it either. Oh, it's down now. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it. <laughs> Sometimes I am just, you know, just it is what it is. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Now let's go into the quote box because I, this is what I quite liked, right? So she combined like the, you know how we have these things all the way through, like these things? She poked, she put like a bunch of them all over the spread, which I thought was fabulous use of them. Because otherwise I never, rarely remember to bring them out. So there is that. Um, I do have another copy of this book. Not a copy, but the bigger version. <clears throat> which I think some of them are bigger, like these ones, right? And then I also have the holiday quote boxes. I don't know if there's specifically stuff for spring in here. Oh, look, there's boxes, boxes, boxes. Oh yeah, that's this book, right? That's not that book. That won't probably come in all that handy, but this one might. Oops, it's falling apart. <clears throat> Let's go to the back. We could use these too, right? That's kind of fun. <clears throat> all right, let's find some quotes first. I pulled that one out because I kind of liked how big it was. Summer, summer, here's spring. What do I have on the page? Both. Okay, time to bloom. Let's do that. It's not as big as I'd like, but you know, we can make it work. Or, do we come in with it up there? It's a little bit too big for there. So I'm gonna like temporarily stick that down there. And then grab this spring is in the air. It's a little bit big too. What about this one? That's pretty good actually. It's the right shape. Sometimes it's all about finding the right shape. Okay, so we can stick that guy right there like that. And then if I could find something a bit bigger, but not too big. Are these the same size? Oh, I think these are the same size. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so. We also have this like spring makes life pretty. Just like crazy sticky. Actually, I think that's probably a better fit. I just gotta figure out where to place it. Like it can kind of go smack dab in the middle. I think I'm going to move that down a little bit. Holy Hannah, it's like the day of stickiness. But then again, these books are starting to get old now because I've had them for a couple of years and I find that they do get a little funky after a while. Okay, now I've got this gap here, which I'm going to throw some flowers in. I've just got to find something that will work. Um, I'm gonna end up cutting something I think which is probably okay so maybe we'll grab this one 
and a piece of wax paper so I can test where we're going to land because I just really want like a bit hanging in because then I'm going to take the other piece and throw it over here. So we're going to find like approximately the center of this guy maybe. So let's pop in here. Um, do I want it that way or do I want it that way? No, definitely the other way. I want it the other way. Okay, so I think we're going to come in on an angle, which will help take up more of that space. Cool. And then let's get this guy and this guy. So that's going to go on the other side of this spread somewhere. Which may be okay there. Actually, kind of right there. It's kind of a perfect place for it. Although it's a little bulky up there. And I'm not sure that I quite like the bulk that much. Like this side's pretty full. Actually, so is this side now, if I'm really being honest. This side's pretty full too. So if we're going to lay it down, I think it's probably going to go like right in there somewhere. But I'm going to hold off because I haven't made up my mind on that yet. And in the meantime, we're going to go in here and grab, like, maybe we'll grab some of these stars and see what they look like. No, I don't like that that much. Let's go back to the dots. Not these ones. Stars. These ones. I know they're throughout the book. It's just a matter of locating them. Like those are the dashes. And the crosses, the little X's. And then we have these, so we're going to pull these guys. We're just going to randomly throw them wherever. So I'm like, why not? It's a good way to get rid of some of this stuff. If I can actually get it non-sticky. I wish I had something for like right here. It's driving me crazy. Like in her spread, she got, like I said, this nice, big, beautiful doll that's just there. And I don't have anything like that. So we're going to improvise. And then... We'll put some over here and some down here, maybe. No, 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 I'm not ready for you to do that yet. Chillax, chillax, man. Do, 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 do. Sort of like that. I'd like to get another one on here if I can. I'm just not sure where to put it. And I don't quite like that those are right, right on top of one another. So one of you has to move. I think we'll put you right there. That's a bit better. And we can put some down here. Cool. Okay. I think we're done. The only things that I might do, but I'll do that after I finish filming, is I think I'm going to go and see if I can find some headers and stuff that might work with this. So I don't think those were in the back. Oh, they are. Look at that. Are they the right? We have the light pink. I didn't get that light pink on this side, but that would be a way to get the light pink in is to go in here and grab, um, let's grab this notes one because that's my shopping box. So we'll put that down here like so. Then we'll go and grab some purple. We can find where the purple is. One second. Um, where are you? Did we not get purple? Oh, here we go. Nope. Oh, come on. Come on, Jess. <laughs> Am I just blind? Oh, it's right beside the pink. You guys are probably yelling at me going, what are you talking about? It's right there. Um, I think we'll grab... Um, an important. And then we can put that, like, right here which will help cover up some of the fact that I can get out my purple pen and fill it back in and that will help right there now I do have Jess's functionally green book which means we might get lucky in being able to pull a green that will match um, to give us something to work with like this stuff oh I have a to buy sticker that would work rather well actually I wonder if we change that out how that would look. That's a little bright. Okay, so let's put this guy back down here. So one thing, like I will say, they may be slightly different in size, 
but just as consistent in the font she uses. And I appreciate that because in situations like this where I have to go hunt for something else, I can generally find what I'm looking for. Um, I don't really want what those say though. And then we have days of the week. We have a to-do sticker. That's probably perfect. Get some green over here. Um, I don't know that I really want to bring in another one, but I can't get it off the page anyways at this point. So we're, you know, fair enough there, right? Because that would help get some more green on the side of the page. Not that we super need it, but I think we're going to put that like that. It's a little stacked, but it's all good. Now I got to find my planner in this mess. <laughs> I think I have to punch a hole. So let's do that before I get to the point where we're pulling it off to put it in the planner. Like so. And then like I said, I'll cover up lines and whatnot after I finish filming, but let's throw it back on the discs because it looks so pretty. I'm pretty excited about this spread. Hopefully this video is not super, super long. So there we go. That is a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ciao!